Ross Kemp is starring in a brand new season of Deep Sea Treasure Hunter on Sky History. As he hunts for secret treasures of Britain's past, he called the experience exhilarating. The former East Enders star spoke exclusively to Express. Co.uk about a particularly personal moment. This second installment of the Sky series sees Ross and his expert team venture beyond the waters of the British Isles to the Red Sea. In each of the four episodes, Ross investigates the history of Britain, her imperial trading routes and her bitter maritime conflicts. In a TV first, he explored one of the world's most famed shipwrecks, the Mary Rose. Other wrecks explored in the series include the SS Mohegan, a luxury liner that hit the rocks off the coast of Cornwall on its way to New York, and the SS Carnatic off the coast of Egypt in the Red Sea, a new breed of fast cargo ship delivering supplies to the colonies that hit a reef near Suez on its way to Bombay and two further merchant cargo ships. Speaking to Express.co.uk he also opened up about the Rosalie Moeller and the Thistle Gorm, along the Red Sea, tasked with resupplying troops to North Africa. He also touched on the final episode, where he travels to Normandy to dive some of the wrecks of D-Day. The star said, to have dived in Normandy on those ships that sadly went down but to have found those tanks, that was also quite poignant for me. Because I'm very much aware that if those men hadn't made that sacrifice, then I might not be at liberty to make the programs I have been able to make. So that was quite poignant. The next episode is about why the Germans had sent bombers at the end of their range to blow up the Rosalie Moeller and the Thistle Gorm, which were effectively a Kohler and a transport ship. On that transport ship were the same vehicles my granddad was driving at the time in the desert campaign against the Germans. While his father-in-law, my great-grandfather, was sailing up and down the Suez Canal, so again in this episode Terry's a connection to members of my family. Don't miss! Alison Hammond's Big This Morning announcement slammed by fans, latest, Ross Kemp shaking hands with Ghost on Mary Rose, Insight, EastEnders must still entertain, warns Ross Kemp, Discussion, the TV star also touched on a scary moment where he feared he wouldn't wake up again after a diving accident. Whilst exploring the remnants of a ship at Plymouth Sound, he started experiencing hypercapnia, an increase in blood carbon dioxide levels. Ross said, hypercapnia can pass quickly as soon as you clear it out of your mask and you get rid of the CO2. It could have gone a lot worse than it actually went, it's a testament to the training we have had that we managed to get through it. When we got back to the hotel I was knackered and I had a headache, but I didn't want to fall asleep in case I didn't wake up again. But I think I was just over-egging it slightly. You are working in a hostile environment, where things can go wrong and that's why I'm a HSC qualified diver now. I don't think any corners diving is a relatively safe sport in comparison to others like rugby and horse riding. So it can be dangerous but if you prepare for most eventualities then it's relatively safe. Ross Kemp, Deep Sea Treasure Hunter airs Mondays at 9pm on Sky History.